Hello fans, KMR, Goji Girl here, the chick who digs the flicks. Yeah, I know, I gotta work on that. Seriously guys, I need a catchphrase. Anyway, um, you guys seen Dan's video, right? The pushing products when he's talking about Gahara? Yeah, that one. So, he absolutely loves this movie. Like, he was like raving about this movie. Like, it was like the most amazing thing he's ever seen, like, lately. Anyway, so, to share his love for this movie, he asked me to, to review it. So, you know, him being such a great guy and all, I couldn't refuse. So you know the drill, we'll go into synopsis before we go into opinion. Yay. Anyway, so, Dan explained that this movie had a whole 60s feel to it, like the, God, the older Godzilla movies had. And he was absolutely right. That's, what, that's one thing that I really liked about this movie. This movie's about... You know, a giant monster wakes up from God knows what happened, like something unexplained, but at the same time it makes it interesting when it's unexplained. But what's odd about this monster is it's hairy. Hairy, yeah. So as we're being attacked by <laughs> Amy Winehouse's head here, um, people start to freak out. So yeah, the situation gets hairy. Excuse me for the pun. I'm gonna leave it at that. It's basically like the original Godzilla movie, kind of, ish. I don't know how to really say it, but it's like a 60s kaiju movie is what I'm trying to say. Just with Gahara and it's like more recent. Dan did explain the whole twist at the end. Honestly, I could have done without the twist. I'm not gonna go into it for those who haven't seen it, but it's one hell of a twist. Anyway. I thought this movie was pretty good, like, the effects were pretty good, like, f for what you can do with Sumation, like, they didn't, like, clamber it with CGI or anything, clamber, I, I don't know what the word is, like, they didn't, like, put CGI all, all over it or anything, it's, they were honest and used a suit. And another thing, um, oh, they did use some CGI, if I, if I remember correctly, I know, I, I, was, I was supposed to do this review, like, a long time ago, but, you know, school gets in the way, all that jazz, you guys know how it is, right? for those who make videos. Um, so yeah, I um, I like the 60s feel to it that they try to get. Um, could have done without the twist at the end. Um, I would give this movie uh, a flimsy three stars. Like, not like a weak three stars like saying, oh I'm being generous and all that, but at, at the same time it's not like, oh my god I love this movie. It's, I'm giving it an Adequate three stars. I know some of you like that word out there. Adequate. Mediocre. I do kind of like this movie. Not gonna lie. And I guess that's it. That was actually pretty short. Um, <laughs> anyway. Stay tuned for more KMR, KQ. Um, whatever Logan's working on, he's working on. He's working on something, and I'm excited for that. He's, um, doing a review of, like, Ultraman and all that. Sounds pretty exciting, like I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. See you next time.